Hey pups, it's Jeep up here and I've been working my little tail off recently and I thought um, have a bit of a fun time and to add some really cool stuff to the dungeon. So I have created a little bit of a order from my friends at Mr. S and it's exciting. So let's get unboxing. So yeah, the, the package arrived today at, um, at work and um, the people at the front desk were of course extremely curious about what the fuck, what the fuck is this guy getting? Because it's a big motherfucking heavy box, right? Um, and it is kind of exciting. It's like a super early Christmas for me. Um, because there's one particular item inside this box that I have been wanting for a long, very long time. And um, I thought, now is the time. So, it's arrived intact, which is great. Um, no dramas with the packaging. I'm doing my best not to order anything. And... This, all of this. Amp, you absolutely rock. Thank you so much for the signature. It's very appreciated that you helped put the box together. And um, yay, I love you guys at Mr. S, so thank you, Amp. Big hugs to the wonderful Amp. Um, who's just moved to San Francisco actually, so I hope you're settling in okay. So, let's get into the excitement, shall we? What will be the first item on display? Do I just treat it totally like Christmas and just go, ah, start throwing everything around? So, first item out of the package is a new dog hood, which is great because um, it's kind of cool that we have a lot of people who are interested in what we do at Sirius. So it's great to have a spare hood. And what I really like is this is the new design of the pup hood as well. So check it out. Um, as you can see here, it's got the new nose, which is really kind of cool. Um, it's got the breathing holes here, which makes it super, super comfortable. And I like this, it's a darker, it's a darker brown, so it suits whether you consider yourself a Rottweiler, a Doberman, even a German Shepherd. It's, it's a great look. So I, this is great. This is my first new version of the Pup Hood and I'm already a fan, so thank you. Thank you. That's the first item. <gasps> what else, what else, what else, what else? Okay. Next piece. Now, these are the Musclo, Musclo pants, and they are really, really cool. And personally, I think they're great for, for pup moshing. They're padded, um, and it's actually kind of a very elastic material. And there is a zipper at the back. So you will be able to pop your pup tails through that, but this is um, this is the look. They're really padded. I like that. So that's going to be a really good look for pup moshers. So highly recommend it. Check that out. So that's the Mascolo pants. They're padded. They look really well made. Um, so yes, I give that one a thumbs up as well. More stuff, more stuff. Fantastic. Ooh, ooh. These, ooh, okay. So, these are the new Fuck Gear um, chaps. Let me show them to you. There's, they've got a snap at the front, but they're actually, they're chaps. So cock and ass is gonna be visible all the way through, and you will be able to wear them. Um, 
either with a jock strap or you know you can go naked as well it depends where you're at but if you're at a play party this is actually a really nice a nice piece of gear also notice that they have the the d-rings here at the front so they can actually attach to the harnesses that have the um, the straps that come to the front I'm just trying to think of the name of the harness I think it's the archer harness I will I'll put a little note at the bottom of this video and, and let you know which harness that is but nice so the fuck gear chaps excellent <gasps> Oh, fuck, I didn't realize that I ordered this. Yay. So this is, I told you it was like Christmas, right? This, I've literally just done a review of this, but this is the Oxballs cock block. And um, I know exactly who this is going to. So, pup, this is something to be looking forward to. This is really cool. It's super soft and squidgy. And um, yeah, it's designed to wear over your cock as a chastity device per se. Um, it's not lockable, but if you are just wanting some play chastity or just for a night, then this can be a great way to go. So love, love, love the Oxball's chastity device. What else have we got in here? Ooh, what's this? Ooh. Yay, we've got some rather hefty looking tip clamps, actually. These are kind of cool. So these are the ones that have little rings on there so you can um, gently guide them over weights or anything really, I suppose. And how does this work? Ah, okay, so you can that screws up and down, which is pretty cool. And they've got a nice rubber coating on there, so that's pretty cool. But they came in a pair. I'm very happy with that. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Now, there is one piece of gear that I have been waiting for a really long time for, and I have a sneaking suspicion. Oh, hang on, before we get there. This is um, another piece that I, that I am looking forward to getting to know better. And this is the, the special, um, it's a harness for your phone and it actually fits the new iPhone 7 Plus, which is kind of handy to know. So I would whip out my iPhone, but I'm using it for one of the angles in this video. So, um, but it, I was reassured when I purchased this that it does actually fit the iPhone 7, but it's got the strap on there, so you can either wear it on your uh, arm or on your leg, um, but there's also a number of configurations here at the back. So if you have, if you take that off, you can actually see that the straps can either go vertically, horizontally, and there's also a strap here so you can fit it onto your belt. There's a a secondary pocket at the back and then there's a pocket at the front which um, fits the iPhone which is great so yay love the new um, leather pouch but this is the piece that I have been waiting for now this may give you a bit of a hint as to what I've purchased but I'm just going to slide this stuff across so that is a leather padded device. So, what do you suppose this is then, hey? This, my friends, is the duck's nuts of sleep sacks. Oh my God. This is something that I have wanted for a very, very long time. And I am super stoked to have been able to purchase this. It is, the deluxe leather sleep sack and my god look at it it is fucking glorious so this is a size medium so it's designed really for me because i've got a neoprene sleep sack and now i've got this leather sleep sack which is great um and motherfuckers i want to be able to play in this every time people come to my dungeon they're always like oh can i get in the sleep sack and i'm like but I want to get in the sleep sack. So, this 
is rock and roll. I'm very, very happy with this. It's beautiful, beautiful soft leather. Um, nice, lots of um, extra stuff here at the front. And the one that I've ordered, you can actually see here, it's got shoulder straps. So you can actually suspend, you can suspend your sub or your slave from the shoulders here, which is great. Fits nicely around the neck, nice and tight. Now, I ordered the extra, the extra body straps, and that way you can really tighten it up and give that super restricted feeling. Now, I'm just gonna open it up so we can have a quick look inside. Um, so I'm just gonna undo that and unzip open. And what you can see here, I like that unzip the whole thing. But yay, I've actually wanted this sleep sack for probably close to four years now. I got the neoprene one because I was looking for something that was a little bit more economical. And now, to treat myself, I've gotten the leather one. So as you can see inside here, there is actually an armhole. So when you hop inside, oh, fuck it. Let's just do it, hey? Oh, oh. Now, people, if you're getting inside a sleep sack, you should totally be doing this with adult supervision. Um, so I won't, be able to, I won't be able to do it up because it's all a bit difficult, but the idea is that you slide your arms into the sleeve here, down the side there, right? And same on the other side. And, um, oh my fucking God. Okay, seriously people, this is balls. It's oh, leather encapsulation. Um, I just wish I, I need to send out an SOS. Can somebody please come here and zip me up? Don't get me out, zip me up because I want to feel what this is like to be fully encased inside this because it's, it's already nice and warm. The leather is beautiful and soft. I'm just gonna slide this over my shoulder there and that way you can get a bit of an idea. Now there's a three-way zip system here as well. So what that means is that you will be able to um, access cock, should you wish. So we're just gonna zipper that up. Oh my God. And also you'll notice that there is this, this ropey stuff here. And that's used with these D-rings here to be able to make it tight against the body as well. But like that's just done up to my to my waist. And then of course that, that will clip across like that. Um, but I'm gonna need Sir here to help me get in and out of this. But oh my God, I have wanted this piece of gear for so fucking long and man, totally worth it, totally worth it. So yay. Oh, that's the other thing. This is the padding and it's designed, it's designed particularly to go in between the knees and also the ankles because they're pressure points. So if you've got somebody who's gonna be inside this for a long time, that's an important thing to be aware of. So, wow. So there you go guys, that's my unboxing. Christmas has come to um, this <laughs> to my dungeon already. I'm a very, very happy camper. So to the guys at Mr. S, thank you so much um, for making the sleep sack for me. I love it. I'm a very, very happy camper. Amp, thank you so much for putting together the package for me. I'm really, really stoked. And it's so lovely to, to get a note that's included with the package as well. So thank you very much. I know I babbled on for a little bit, so I hope you enjoy this unboxing video as much as I have to open the box and to enjoy the gear. Um, I'll put links to the stuff that I bought underneath. So if you wanted to check them out over at Mr. S as well, but 
Fuck yeah. Very happy camper. So thanks guys. Have yourselves a rocking day.